about game time. Bring the pain time. And for teams that have gotten off to a less than ideal start to the season, Doris, when is it time to start thinking about changing strategy? Almost an entire new group. MPs checked in for Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randy. Manuel quickly, he's checked in for Reddish. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Then for the Pistons, Turin, he's checked in for Stewart. Bagley comes in for Sadiq Bay. And it's Burks in for Ivy. On the floor for Detroit, we've got Turin. Alec Burks is out there with Cunningham. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Bagley in at the four. Burks against Quickly. Burks looking around. Rose against Cunningham. Now here's Durant. D right on him. Bagley with the ball. And it's Toppin picking him up. Knicks trail by four. Pass to Rose. MP with a screen on Cunningham. And Jalen Duran picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Barrett. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Barrett's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, you've got to be shot ready in catch and shoot situations. And we know RJ's got a quick trigger. Here's Bogdanovich, and the layup is good. They are just killing him on the interior. Outside Rose, to the middle, a steal. Burks against Quickly. Burks can't get it to go. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. MP sets the screen for Rose. Passes to MP. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Rose against Cunningham. Bagley with a screen on Rose. Cunningham for three. And so it's Keith. Going with almost an entire new group. Sims is checked in. MV comes in for Toppin. It's checked in for Quickly. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Then for the Pistons, Bogdanovich comes in for Sadiq Bay. And Kate Cunningham subbed in for Ivy. Rose is out there with Reddish. Then it's MP. Then it's Barrett, and it's Sims in at the five. That's the five for New York right now. And you can see why they continue to call Cunningham's number. Once he's flipped that switch, let him go to work. And that was the mobile one drop. Well worth a second look. And continuing to press their advantage. They're not taking their foot off the gap. Boy, that's what you call great thinking on the fly. Passing on the shot in midair and laying it off to the open man. He kicks to Bogdanovich. Back to Cunningham. A floater. He lays it in. Cunningham's got the lead up to six now for the Pistons. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? MP with a screen on Burks. Here's Reddish. Burks with the steal. 
And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. There's 48 seconds left in the first half of the game. Cunningham against Rose. Bagley from outside. It's rebounded by Beard. New York is on 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. MP kicks to Barrett. Rose scanning the floor. MP. Burks pulls it in. Burks has got rebound number five here tonight. Cunningham outside. And it's Bagley in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. And so is Detroit with their lead standing at... They've been assertive at the offensive end, willing and able to shoulder the scoring for their teams. Yeah, they put on a show for us. All right, and looking now at the first half, it's been an... And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back... We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Kate Cunningham in this game, he's been everywhere. He's done it fantastic. <laughs> MPs checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Toppin comes in for Julius Randle. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Reddish. Detroit also making some changes. Duran, he's checked in for Stewart. Bagley comes in for Bogdan. And Alec Burks is up in for Cade Cunningham. On the court for the Pistons, Bay and Bagley will slot in at small and power forward. Ivy is out there with Alec Burks, and it's Duran in at the center position. Now, here's Ivy. Brunson covering, uses the glass to finish the layup. Burks has got eight points. Yeah, a natural score. Ivy is developing into a tremendous playmaker. Runs in the pass to Barrett. Plays it up off the glass. Barrett's got it all tied up now for New York. Boy, you can see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. A floater. And the pass to Duran. Lock at six. Here's Burks. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And New York the other way now. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. From deep rows and falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got nine assists in the game. Great pass. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Pass to Ivy. On deep. And the last second attempt is not... Detroit also making some changes. Erlens Noel checks in for Duran. And it's Stewart in for Bagley. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David? Hey, Kevin. Well, Dwayne Casey just going over the game plan with his team down the stretch. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Barrett and Randall. That is out there with Derrick Rose. And it's MP in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the five for New York right now. And it's easy to see why so many are so high on Cunningham, a talented guard who can do a little bit of everything. And the deep not really doing its job here. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. 
Burks sets a screen for Cunningham. There's the drive. That one, no good. And New York will come the other way. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. MP with a screen on Burks. Dish dishes to MP. Rebounded by the Pistons. Stewart's got six rebounds now in the game. Inside, here's Burks. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. MP's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And you look at MP, you have to think back to his very successful college career, Greg. Was an outright star at that level. Yeah, stayed three years before making the jump to the NBA. You don't see that too often nowadays, but he won a college championship and had nothing left to prove. Here's Cunningham. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Bogdanovich against Barrett. Here's Rose. And good that time. And the Knicks lead by three. We know this about Derrick Rose. He never ducks these moments. He's fearless, this guy. Burks finds Cunningham. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. That's the last thing they need. Time this game too close to be made. In. Then for the Pistons, Bays checked in for Noel, and Ivy subbed in for Burks. The Knicks leading by three. New York moving the ball around. MP right side. Another shot. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got eight rebounds in the game. defense on to the paint it's stolen by Reddish Barrett against Bogdanovich and yes it's good and a closer look here at the hustle stand for the Knicks I like their defense though and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough you can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out of transition Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage and creating second-chance points. Impressive. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Cunningham. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. And you talk about a big-time play. He simply would not be denied. The first of two, no good, heartbreaking. Number three. And he ends up making the second, and that gives them a four-point cushion. The Pistons have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Cunningham on the wing. Brunson covering. Cunningham passes to Stewart. Money! And he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. That's to Reddish. And here's Brunson on deep three-point range. That's not going to drop for him. Five of nine with that miss. Points are an absolute must here. And no time to waste. Not at this point in the game. And stolen by Randall. And pushing it up. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Yes. They're trailing by four. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-four seconds left in the game. Brunson against Cunningham. And they double up Cunningham. A shot by Stewart with no one around. Got it! And that shot quick! They're up by one. So 
Seven seconds left in the fourth. And out of bounds. The Pistons will take it. Boy, how the mistake play out. You never know. Cunningham outside. They could win it. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. It's a close game. No. Uh, I gotta show you something. Just watch this. <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? <laughs> that, that Nokia joint? <laughs> no, no, you know, I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. no. Major poser. <laughs> Mr. <Missed the> point. <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she is very funny. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Mm. Oh. You still salty Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the mm. game. Oh, Shep, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, what? Why can't you be more of a leader <laughs> like MP? <laughs> why are you going to be so gosh darn selfish all the time, <laughs> Pete? Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, <laughs> oh. But you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh. <laughs> all these NBA right. players. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis, right? <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, 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 Shep, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies, because we're making this fire content right now. Go yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say... Your game's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Oh. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. <laughs> I think you got that covered, buddy. And the mm. next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Because he's Shep. Does he need a reason? Yeah. No, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow, and they are absolutely gonna wanna ask about this given yeah, how I inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal, but we are going to, obviously you need to strategize your response, okay? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here, and we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you. That's literally what you pay me to do. But yeah. See you in a bit. Wait from the top. 
Josh, what's going on, man? MP, how you doing? Bro, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Yo, again, man, thank you for taking the time to see me, bro. That's love. Man, no problem. You know, I was in a similar situation last year, so I think I can help. Hold, hold on. Didn't you go top five last year? And the people loved you too, bro. Man, I went six. And yeah, a lot of people liked me, but there was also a lot of people who were shocked that I went that high. So, especially on social media. Bro, man, tell me about it. Social media can be so brutal, man. Man, that's what happens when it's all anonymous, I guess. Still, you see it all, and it affects you. All right, so, so, that's a good point you said. So, like, how do you deal with that doubt thing? Hey, 
Well, I've always been someone who likes setting up teammates, helping them succeed. So as long as my guys around me were thriving, I didn't really care what anybody said about me. Wait, but hold on. Like, you, you got to play well too, bro. It's not all about the team. Yeah, you know? well, me playing well, my you know, it means my guys are playing well around me. So that's just my game, and I can't really separate the two. Bro, you got the vision, man. You, you got the vision out there. You dropping them dimes. I see you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Look, I got to bounce, but it was nice talking to you, man. Hit me up if you ever want to hoop or you need any advice or whatever. All right, let's get it. What? Good game last night. Come on in. Time to get to work. We're gonna focus on shooting today. Let's get a lot of repetitions. All right. Let's get set up and start practice. Let's move on. Let's get it started, man. Let's get it started. Nah, we're good. Right Let's go. Right come to me, come to me. Come on, 
Let's go. Get your head in the game. Putting some individual work in. What you got there, Ashley? Huh? Bunch of hopefuls. Okay. Trying to ride your coattails. Doing, uh... Ah, and here he is. MP, my name is Jocelyn Davies, executive producer for Top Takes Daily. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. As I was telling Jocelyn earlier, uh, we are open to any discussion involving one Chef Owens, but we do expect those questions to be respectful. And if you wish to move on quickly from any given question, we expect that desire to be honored. And as I was just explaining to Miss St. Germain, this is a reputable program on a billion dollar network. We take <laughs> procedures and standards very seriously and will of course treat MP No with snacks that. in the dressing room. Oh my gosh. I will take care of Second it. Second day this week. Got it. Yeah. It's done. Chips, a billion dollar cookies, network. crackers, popcorn. Got I'm it. Not Got it. For Thank much. you so much. 60 seconds. Thank you. Very reputable. That's Stan right there. <laughs> we'll of course treat MP with the utmost respect and professionalism at all times. Will you guys have snacks? Oh, yeah, we got snacks. Hey, and I'm good. <laughs> Let's do it. Jocelyn, I mean it. Okay? This is not the day for Kendrick to try to go viral over anything. Are we clear? Ash, like... Loosen up a little bit. I can handle Perkins. That's no problem. See? Envy's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Oh, of that, I'm sure. <laughs> but I can take care of myself. Okay? Let's not forget that. <laughs> okay. You ready to head a set now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's head over. Everyone, I'd like to introduce MP. Hey, hey, how's it going? Sam Woods, yeah. big fan. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Of course, you, you know JJ. My guy. Good to see you. And Kendrick. Hey, what's going on, superstar? Oh, awkward. All right, you're going to sit right here adjacent to me. Thanks. All right. Places, everyone. All right, everybody. We're going live. Thanks for coming on the show. Here we yeah, go. Anytime. Uh, Four, three, and welcome back to Top Takes Daily. And for our next segment, we are joined live in studio by the guy everybody is talking about, our very special guest, MP. Welcome to the program. My man, thank you guys for uh, having me on. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us. Now, I know this might be a sensitive 
subject, but I just want to get right into it. We all saw what happened on draft night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we haven't heard your side of the story. So I'm wondering, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of, of a mixed reaction like that on, on what should be the most enjoyable night of your life? That just comes with the territory, you know? Like, we make a lot of money, and it's all because of those passionate fans out there. Night in and night out, coming into the games and showing their support. It's because of them, you know what I'm saying? And yes, the fans are free to express their feelings however way they want, but it don't matter to me. I, I mean, are we serious right now? Listen, <laughs> MP, with all due respect, do you expect us to believe that? If I'm my own so-called fans uh -huh. were booing me, that wouldn't sit right with me at all. Yo, Kendrick, my man, it, it, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know in the long run people will come around and, uh, you know, see what I'm all about. You know, and that's just giving everything that I got to this game. You know, um, not only to the team, but to this, this, this city, man. You know, it's, it's my job. Proving my worth to these fans is my job. You know, so I know right now they may be booing, but soon enough they're going to be cheering for me. MP, let's stay with the draft for a moment. Mm -hmm. A big part of the reaction to your selection was the fact that Shep Owens, your biggest rival, was still on the draft board. That's right. But a, a lot of people think he has the higher upside due to his athleticism and the fact that he has loads of untapped potential as a relative newcomer to this game, whereas you've been trying to work on your skill set for the last decade plus. How would you respond to people who think you've got the higher floor but the lower ceiling? Mm. I understand where that view comes from, but I don't share it. And why is that? It's because basketball is about a lot more than athletic ability. I mean, what is it all about? Like, what is your opponent doing? How can you stop them? What are your, your teammates' strengths? How can you empower them to play the best basketball that they can play? Almost you like know? a chess match. Absolutely. A complete chess match. Thank you. Um, athleticism is a tool, uh, but that's all it is. It's a tool. It's like giving a, like a power drill to a baby. But that doesn't mean that the baby can build you a house just because he has that power drill. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, 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 time out, time out. Did I mess your head up with that one? Are, are you calling Shep Owens oh. a baby? <laughs> I think so. No, 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 don't. What I'm saying is it's just a metaphor. So let's not read into that a little too much here. MP, you know we keep it real on here. I got to ask you, man to man. How do you respond to Chef Owens calling you out on his reality show? Oh, wow. This dude took shots at you. He took shots at your family. He even took shots at your girl. What do you say to something like that? You know, I, I'm going to say this as calmly as possible. Because at the end of the day, it's disappointing to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, basketball is a place where you express joy. Yeah, I want to beat my opponent, uh, my opponent, don't get me wrong. So in the heat of the moment, words do get exchanged. But to talk about another man's, another man's family? Like, fam, I'm embarrassed for him. My man has a lot of growing up to do. Well, what I want to know and we want to know, the next time you two meet, are mm -hmm. you going to exchange words? Are y'all going to exchange words? <laughs> uh, I don't know. But I'm sure there's going to be a discussion that I can promise you. You know, I'm not expecting him to change his stripes. You know, he is who he is. You know, so when someone shows you who they are, you believe them. Mm. That's it. You know, that's what my parents told me, and that's just how I live. Well, this has been unforgettable, and I'd love to continue this conversation, but unfortunately, we are out of time. MP, thank you for joining Wait, us. Wait, so that's it's it? It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, yeah, and we got to wrap things up, but you have been a tremendous sport, and we really appreciate you answering the tough questions we wish you all the best you and your family and your girl uh coming up next we talk early season contenders jokes, and pretenders but first this commercial break 